I think that uh, uh, there are new challenges, but that uh, one of the things that we have to keep in mind is the context in which the new information society um, uh, doesn't just usher in new challenges. It also um, it also uh, is is something that is informed by old challenges, having to do with um, gender um, inequality, um, the lack of, of uh, justice uh, for women and uh, other marginalized genders. So first of all, we have to put it in a larger context, um, and then, uh, in in uh, my opinion, uh, much of what happens with not new ICTs is precisely. Um, what happens in in the social world um, that I, I don't I don't see um, for example with the arguments that somehow um, with virtuality um, that difference doesn't make any difference and we become more equal um, I, I don't understand that as being an accurate statement um, at all I don't think that the new ICTs erase um, erase issues of identity um, or hierarchy um, at all. Um, new challenges, however, are um, that since we are um, becoming um, and more of an information society in some places more than others, so we have to keep in mind that uh, lots of people haven't made a first telephone call before, um, that since we, we are an emerging information society in many places, um, that um, knowing that, uh, that uh, w women um, seem to uh, now be um, in a position where to be recognized uh, they have to use new um, ICTs and um, there's a number of assumptions that exist about women's um, in, um, incapability or disinterest in new ICTs uh, which, which are um, not necessarily true, they're almost a foregone conclusion that people make um, that the you know that it's women who need skills, women who need training, um, but women are just as capable as men are. Um, it's 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 um, larger social inequalities that actually create women from having appropriate skills. Uh, yes, well, I mean I think it's very important to critique citizenship um, um, at, at all times, even in, whether they're in the context of the information society or not. Uh, the, the main problem with citizenship um, is its association with rights and it's one thing to have uh, rights that, are, um, that are, are granted to you on paper. It's quite another thing to have rights that you can actually enjoy um, and people who are privileged enjoy more rights than people who are marginalized. Um, so I, I think that, that we have to keep that in mind at all times. Um, that citizen, citizenship is, uh, some people have more citizenship than others, uh, might be one way to put it. Uh, and we have to keep in mind that um, with the information society, um, there's a, a, a so much um, sort of technophilia or utopianism around it as though it's going, to, uh, it's going to change the nature of citizenship and bring people into the citizenship fold. Um, that we, we also um, need to keep in mind that um, when uh, we look at new ICTs, uh, we're also looking at a whole um, new um, uh, set of inequalities that have grown out of old inequalities, but now have to do with issues like um, living in a knowledge society, an information economy, a service economy, and so on, in which women have been they become um, desired more as workers than as citizens critiquing the system.